So today on the Kitchen Hacker, we're cooking Alfredo pasta, and then we'll be able to tweak that at the end and maybe make a carbonara out of it, but we'll wait and see. All right, so you're basically going to need some ingredients for this one. I have one clove of garlic that's chopped and minced, one egg white, a quarter cup of Parmesan and Asiago blend, and two tablespoons of butter. I also have two cups of half and half. You can use heavy cream and that's completely fine. I just prefer to use half and half because it gives me a little time play. If you use heavy cream, just cut back on how much of the egg white you're going to use. I would only use half if you even need any at all. The egg whites purely come into the party for thickening. All right, so let's begin by getting the base of our sauce, which is going to be the butter and the garlic, and we're going to get this going. Start by adding in two tablespoons of butter. Oh, pan's a little hot. We're going to add the garlic in. And we're just going to lightly saute that. Ooh. You can smell that garlic just toasting up a little bit. I just want it to change color a little bit. You can see it's just starting to turn brown. That's perfect. All right. And then I'm going to add in my cream. And I'm doing this all over a medium, medium high flame. And I'm going to let this cook for a moment or two, and that's going to help let the flavors cook into the heavy cream mixture itself. We already got the garlic flavor in there, but we want to make sure it works itself in. All right, what we want to do now is we want to bring this back to a simmer. So I'm going to turn it up a little bit until I get some heat going on here. I've already cooked my pasta and set it aside. It is still warm, although I did run a little bit of cold water over it just to stop the cooking process. It does tend to cook for a little bit after you pull it off if you don't just throw it immediately in ice water. So this will allow it to be done in the right doneness that I want for the dish itself. Okay. Also, if you undercook it a little bit, that will give you some play as well. So we're going to let this cook. This should take about two minutes to start to come back up to a simmer. All right, so it's been just about two minutes now, and you can see my sauce is starting to bubble here. The uh, things move pretty quick here at the end, so I don't want to dally too much. What I'm going to do is I'm going to back down my heat to a very low heat. I'm going to get a nice piano whisk out. And while I'm whisking, I'm going to slowly add the egg white. You can already see it start to thicken it up a little bit. Once you feel you've got everything incorporated, it's time to add the cheese. We do cheese well here at the Kitchen Hacker. Runs in my family. I think you can blame my father for that. Once everything is good, we're just going to let that come back to a boil real quick. I'm going to get my pasta ready. Today here I've chosen a nice campanelli. These are little trumpets. This is a great little pasta that I like to use from time to time. It's great at holding sauce, but it's not as heavy as a shell, say. Um, but it also holds a lot more sauce than a penne or a rigatoni. All right, I'm coming back to a boil. So now I'm gonna add my pasta in. This was half a pound. And I am going to cook this for a minute or two because I do want the heat to come back into the pasta. I don't want to have cold pasta. That's just not good food. All right. Time to think about seasoning. So I'm going to put in about half a teaspoon of kosher salt. And about eight to ten grinds of cracked black pepper.
All right, so 30 seconds, my Alfredo is gonna be ready. As soon as the sauce back comes up to a boil, we're gonna be perfect. Now you can take this to the next step, and if we want, we can add some ham. We can also add some peas to this and kind of make a uh, carbonara like my uh, in-laws tend to like. But I would say that um, a true carbonara is gonna be made with bacon fat and pancetta. So that's a whole different ball of wax. So this is kind of a, uh, a poor man's or Americanized carbonara, but still just as tasty. Especially if you use a really good ham. Although I would stay away from the honey baked. I have found that that's just not very good in this kind of application. So all we have to do is plate. Have a great time. Thanks for watching this episode of The Kitchen Hacker, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.